Hello internet people. In this video, I'll show you how to create custom page templates in WordPress. This will enable you to have different layouts for different pages. So then you can have all kinds of pages. It's kind of like normal Arnie. Well, I'm going to kill you last. Kami Arnie. I'm not shooting on you. Stone Arnie. <laughs> and Spanish Arnie. Come star. All in one package. Tip sweat punch. All right, before we start, I just want to mention that you need to have access to your server for this to work. So make sure you can connect to it by using File Manager or FTP software like FileZilla. This will even work on managed WordPress hosting. So let's get started. I'm going to use File Manager, but it's very similar to FTP. Just go to your cPanel and click on the File Manager. And then go inside the folder with your domain name. Kim, what's your domain name? All your base are belong to us. Now, you might need to go inside the public HTML folder to see it. In my case, it's a separate folder, so I'm going to go inside of it. And in there, go to folder WP Content Themes. And select your activated theme. Here, you should see a file named page.php. This file is the template for all pages that WordPress uses by default. So what we can do is just right click on the file and create a copy. Or you can also create a completely new file and then copy paste things there. It doesn't really matter. Then just rename the file to whatever you want, but try to keep it descriptive. I'll call my file fullwithpage.php. The .php part is really important, so your file has to end with that. Now let's right click on the new file and choose edit. You're probably already thinking like this. Fuck you. Tips with punch for expecting me to code. <laughs> but no worry, it's just super simple code. What you see here in your page template, it might be shorter or it might be longer, it just depends on your theme. But for WordPress to recognize this as a page template, we need to add this code on a new line just below the PHP opening tag. So let's go to a new line and then add this text. I'll put this text in the description, so don't worry. If you create a new page, then you need to add PHP opening and closing tags like this one here. You are not you. You're me. No shit. Just replace the custom full with page with your own name. This is what your template will be called in WordPress dashboard. You don't need to worry about the rest of the code right now. Now go to your WordPress dashboard and go to pages and there select create a new page. And here on the right you have the page attribute section. If you're missing it, just click on the little arrow here on the top and enable the page attributes. So in this section, you have a page templates drop down. If you click in it, you will see your custom page template. Now keep in mind, if you go to the test page, it won't look any different from your normal page because we didn't customize it yet. Now you can edit anything on the page and customize the page template to whatever you want. So for example, if I want to make this page a full width page, I would just add some new CSS classes and this would update the template. And then I can choose when to use one or the other. You can make much more complex templates. You can get really creative with the custom templates. So just see what you can do. My name is Robert. And if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Here are two videos that I think you will find useful. Whoosh!